Welcome everyone to the Micropub space of IDEC. Uh, this is our core infrastructure of uh, IDEC and it's where our researchers, but also external ones and companies, come to fabrica fabricate uh, biomedical devices of all kinds. A green room is a space where we care about the environmental conditions um, and the clean linears. Uh, environmental conditions as temperature, humidity, and pressure. Uh, our clean room is a 10,000 class, which means that we have 10,000 particles per cubic uh, meter. This uh, fulfills the conditions of a standard uh, clean room, but also allows entering biocompatible materials that usually are not allowed in high purity or in higher purity rooms. Uh, the other conditions as temperature, humidity, and pressure are constantly monitored to assure this uh, uniformity of conditions during the fabrication of our researchers. For instance, the temperature is always kept in a range between 22 and 20, sorry, 20 and 22 uh, Celsius degrees, and the relative humidity is always kept between 45 and 55 percent. There is also a slight overpressure that drives all the contaminants uh, to the exit uh, and keeps renewing the air inside the room. Now, let's see how is our clean room. And before that, we should dress in this way with these lab suits and these uh, covering accessories to uh, keep this cleanliness inside the room. Let's go inside. general room where we have most of our characterization equipment and also we have the 3D uh, setup, 3D printing setup. Uh, this setup is a DLP which stands for digital light processing and um, in this technique we load a digital design on this and it's projected on a layer of, of resist that gets cured and layer by layer is creating our 3D structure. This is an example of a structure fabricated by this technique. Yeah. And these pieces can be characterized, for instance, on this machine, this is an optical microscope, to characterize in size this type of microstructures. This is a contact angle setup to measure surface interaction between different uh, substrates. This, for example, is a measurement of hydrophobicity, very important in, in our biomedical world. And in this area, we have a profilometer. This is a light profilometer, optical, and this is mechanical. Uh, in the light one, we use the interference created by the light that is incident uh, on our substrate and the reflected one. That creates an interference that depends on the topography that we have on our substrate. And this one is mechanical and works by using this small needle that maybe you can see there. That uh, scans our surface like this and gets the profile of our structure. Like this, we can characterize our uh, substrates in uh, step height, but also in lateral dimensions, like in this case. Let's go to the next room. In this room, we also have several equipment. This one, It's a thin film deposition machine. Inside we have um, several mechanisms to deposit materials, evaporators and also sputtering sources. And what we can deposit by this machine are metals and semiconductors to create, for instance, electrodes. We have side equipment like an oven, 
both plates, balances, this is a stereoscope. And we have another important instrument for us, which is this uh, plasma generator. Uh, in particular, this one works with oxygen, and the, plas the oxygen plasma is very useful, for instance, to eliminate organic contaminants from our substrates, but also to activate the substrates for further processes that are uh, done here in, in our space. Let's continue. Now we will enter the lithography area, which is the cleanest one and one of the most used. and this will serve us to uh, transfer this pattern to a final device. So with this machine, we fabricate these chromium masks. Let's see how we got there in the next one. from one of those masters. 
Karin Atiyes, the type of things that are not here at the table. That was all what we have. Thank you very much for your attention.